Hi there and welcome again to Mr. Arnold's Maths. This video we're going to look at Pythagoras' theorem. What Pythagoras worked out was that given any right angle triangle whatsoever, if we square the two short sides and add them together, we will always get the longest side squared. So in other words, you end up with something like this, a squared plus b squared equals h squared, where h is the hypotenuse, which is always opposite the right angle, and is always the longest side in a right angle triangle okay so if you want you can pause the video now and copy down the notes that we have here or you can print them off yourself anyway let's just move right on and have a look at a couple of examples so what we're going to do first is we're going to apply pythagoras to work out the hypotenuse here and i've written down the method for you at the bottom of the slide here so basically what we're going to do is we're going to square both numbers add them together and then take the square root so that's the three steps to solving a problem like this so say we're given a right angle triangle like so and i'm asked to work out what this side is well using pythagoras all we do is we say right square both numbers so four squared is 16. three squared gives me nine add them together 16 plus nine is 25 and then finally take the square root of 25 and the square root of 25 is 5 so this side I can say with confidence is 5 units of length let's have a look at this one so again square both numbers so 4 squared equals 16 7 squared equals 49 add them together 16 plus 49 gives me 65 and then take the square root of 65 square root of 65 is 8.06 units so I can say with confidence that this is 8.06 and that's how you use Pythagoras to work out the hypotenuse right we got some examples here for you guys to try uh, give each answer to two decimal places and uh, so pause the video now have a, have a go with these and I will show you the answers in about five or six seconds okay hopefully you've had a go at those questions now I'm going to reveal the answers so you can mark your work see how you get on right and there we have it so there are all the answers there try not to forget the units it's important obviously my examples didn't have units but if, if your question does have units try and include them in your answer as well and if you did manage to get those right or you've made a couple of mistakes have a look at your uh, your workings again see how you did uh, and look maybe look at the examples again right let's have a look the other type of problem we could have is where we're asked to work out a shorter side so i'm given one of the short sides i'm also given the hypotenuse so i know the longest side and i know one of the other sides and i want to work out this side here i've called it x now it's a very very similar method we're going to square both numbers again so 10 squared gives me 100 i'm going to square 8 so 8 squared gives me 64. now we're going to do the biggest number take away the smallest so 100 take away 64 gives us 36 and then we take the square root of that so square root of 36 is 6. so this here is six centimeters long and that is how you apply pythagoras to work out the shorter side right some questions for you to try now so pause the video have a go at those questions there again remember to give your answers to two decimal places and i will show you the answers in about five seconds okay hopefully you've tried those questions uh, so let's just reveal the answers right so there are all the answers to the questions uh, have a look over them mark your work see how you did if you did manage to get them right see if you can figure out what it is you're doing wrong that is essentially all we need to know about Pythagoras um, working out the longest side working out a shorter side another type of problem that can come up sometimes is you could be asked to show a right angle triangle or show if a triangle is right angled but that's not important for now uh, if you can get this under your belt uh, you've made excellent progress so best of luck with that and i will see you again sometime